What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to be talking about pixelated Shopify images and how you can fix them. So we're going to go over basically how you can do it here because if you're looking at a pixel image, it is extremely hard to tell what's going on. Your images are extremely important in selling your product as it's going to show your customers exactly what your product is all about. It's dimensions, they can see the colors. So you want to make sure that your images are looking okay. And if you have blurry images as well, it's going to make your Shopify store look unprofessional. Now you don't want that, especially as you're a beginner Shopify store and you're building your brand online, you want to make sure that your images are looking clean and crisp. Especially if you spent money on product photography, you want to make sure it's coming through correctly. Before I dive into it, I just want to thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It comes with a free 15-day trial and it's going to allow you to skip your spreadsheets, get back to growing your business with real-time calculations. Again, there's a link in the description below to access that free trial. And now I'm going to show a quick video detailing its full feature set. Are you a Shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting? Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. All right, so let's dive into how you can fix your pixelated images. And so first you wanna see the dimension of the image. And so we'll go through that in the product page. So I'm just in the product section and I've clicked on a test product here and I've uploaded more of a blurry image. So we can use this as an example. We'll also go through a homepage example to give you an idea of how to fix these different images as a lot of them can show up blurry. And so first things first, let's go check the size here. So if you click that expand button, it's gonna tell you the size of the image in pixels. It's gonna be 196 by 307. And if we go to the product page, it's not gonna look great. It's gonna be a little blurry. This one's not gonna force it to expand on this theme. Some themes will to fit a specific size, but it's just not gonna be a great look here to show off this example product of a screenshot I took of Sony headphones. And so really the blurriness of an image and how it's pixelated, it's gonna come all the way down to the pixel size. So we just looked at an example pixel there by the width and the height. You wanna make sure you're corresponding to this recommended guide here. This comes from tinyimage.com. They have a great table showing you the recommended size in width by height in pixels for your homepage images, your collection images, your slideshow images, as well as your Shopify logo, placeholder images. This is a great sheet sheet here. I'll leave a link in the description as well to this website as it makes it really easy to find out what pixel density you need. So knowing that, we would go back to our product image or homepage image. You really wanna make sure you're grabbing that original file format. You wanna find the largest size possible because if you don't have the larger size possible, it's gonna be really hard to actually get Rid of that pixelation from your images as it's going to be stretching that image which is causing the problem with pixelation in the first place so you want to find that original copy one that's uncropped one that's unedited you should hopefully have that if you're taking your own product imagery it should be quite high quality so you can use those there in terms of editing as well many people will just decrease the pixel size so they can decrease the file size of an image as images can quite slow down a shopify website rather than just decreasing the pixel size which you can do you'll just decrease it to the recommended size here for collection image should be 1024 by 1024 pixels. You should use a service such as Tiny PNG, which is going to compress the image but keep the pixel size and just going to decrease the count a little bit in the back end. You can see the original transparent image went from 57 KB all the way down to 15. It does a great job here and Tiny PNG is completely free. So if you are doing that to decrease the file size, I'd recommend using something such as Tiny PNG instead. Let's go through an example here. I'm just going to start with the home page rather than trying to find a better product image. This is going to be a little clearer to go step by step. So I'm going to go download this image here and then we can click on it to open it up and from there we want to hit the recommended pixel size to make sure that's going to fit correctly and if we head back to our cheat sheet here and go to banner images they recommend it to be 1800 by 1000 so let's get our image to fit within that width and height in pixels now to mac you want to go into tools in the top left then hit adjust size and then from there you can edit the width and the height i'm going to put 1800 here and it's going to give me 1800 by 1200 as that's going to keep the dimensions fixed so it's not going to warp the image in any way now if we want to hit that dimension exactly we can drag over here and just kind of like play around with the dimension of this image to kind of hit that 1800 by 1000 if you can see in the right of where i'm dragging i am just dragging this up to 1000 now it doesn't have to be exact so that one's 1001 so i'd say that's close enough here you just want to hit this crop button and that's gonna crop our homepage image. I'm gonna hit save there to save this on my computer. Now I did mention tiny PNG, so let's run through that as an example as well. So we can see this goes from 229 KB to 110 KB. There's a nice 52% file size reduction. I'm gonna hit save again. 
So it's gonna be saved on my desktop. Now, if I head over to my Shopify store, go to online store on the left here, it's gonna open up the theme section of the website. Hit customize, go into my image with text overlay or overlay. This is gonna be the banner here. Click on it so I can edit it. I'm gonna to go to change, change image, and I'm gonna upload my own image here. Hit upload, and then just like that, the homepage has now been changed. And so we've optimized this image to fit the 1800 by 1000 size and we've scaled down. It is so much easier to scale down than scale up. This will help correct the pixelation on your images of your Shopify store. Now, if you're caught in a bind here and you cannot actually get a larger image and go back, there are ways to upscale your image here. This is a service called Smart Enhance, which allows you to fix compression issues. You just have to create an account, upload your pixel image, then hit start processing. You can see it fixes it from this to this and it's going to clean things up a little bit. Now this always isn't perfect, which is why I didn't go over it at the start, but it can be something to help if your product images are blurry to begin with. And so I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. So this concludes the video on how to fix pixelated images. It's going to all start with your image size by pixels. Make sure you're hitting those correct dimensions, or at least very close to. It's going to decrease the chances that your images are pixely and blurry, which is going to create an overall better shopping experience. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And lastly, I want to mention our sponsor, ProfitCalc. Again, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. There's a link in the description below. Access a 15-day free trial. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.